Tango Oscar Mike. Hi, it's Tango Oscar Mike. I'm just out here in the backyard, but I thought it was time to show you what I carry in my backpack. First, uh, this is a Soda Beams travel mast, compact travel mast. I believe it's a 10 meter mast. Um, and this pack has side pockets that go the whole way down through and into the water bottle. Uh, this makes it great for carrying this, uh, for this mast uh, on this pack. It's one of the reasons I chose this pack, but uh, I'll carry this if I'm going to an area where I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a line up in a tree uh, or as a backup. So there's that. We'll start on the outside of the pack. Uh, actually, let's start in the, the admin pocket here. So in here, first thing, this is my 49 to one N-Fed antenna. Uh, I home built this with some plans uh, found on the internet, uh, which our club president, uh, N3XE, pointed me to. And uh, this is soda beams uh, wire. Uh, there's a uh, Anderson power pole on the end of it and a little loop at the end of the wire. And the reason I have that on there is so I can add additional length of wire to get me the whole way up to 80 meters. Um, but this is my go-to antenna. It's super light, it's compact, but this this is a great antenna. It works fantastic and uh, I'm very happy with it, either using it as a vertical, going straight up into a tree, or using it as an inverted L or inverted V with my soda beams mast. Uh, it works great. In here I have this uh, old neoprene pouch from Subaru, and this is kind of my admin pouch. There's a lighter in here with some tape on it, uh, an extra pencil, a spork, toilet paper, fire starter, ferro rod, um, what else, flashlight, compass, uh, multi-tool, uh, just some of your uh, basic guy stuff in here that you might need. I like putting it in these little pouches, in case organized, and uh, you'll find that I reuse a bunch of old stuff that I have, trying to keep my costs down. This pack, for example, uh, I got on sale. It was uh, 60 to 70% off, I can't remember. Um, but uh, it's great, it's a little bit small for me. I'm 5'11 and it's a little small, um, but it's working out fine. This is my Write in the Rain uh, notebook. I love Write in the Rain. It, uh, they work, you can get them wet, and it really doesn't affect them at all. Um, I have a Write in the Rain pen, marker, and pencil in there, uh, plus some other notes and information in there. That's all it's in there. So in this pouch I have, this is the guideline setup that I have for that antenna, uh, for that mast I should say. Uh, this is a little piece of kydex that I caught to use as a guy ring and just some paracord I cut. Uh, makes it real easy to set up, uh, it's lightweight. Along with that there's some uh, lightweight tent stakes that I got from a, a tent that I have. Ziploc baggy, sunglass or eyeglasses need those these days little loop of paracord there's also a whistle clipped in here which uh, I don't an emergency situation your voice actually doesn't travel that far and if you want to get somebody's attention and uh, have something that travels a very long distance a whistle is a great thing to have um, you can buy whistles really cheap on Amazon buy a couple put one in each of your packs they're good to have I just there was just a story about a guy who um, was hiking, broke his femur, and laid there in the woods and was yelling, uh, trying to get people's attention. And your yell really doesn't travel very far, but a, something like a high-pitched whistle uh, travels a very long distance and uh, could lead rescuers to you a lot quicker. So let's go with the side pouch. Uh, this is a uh, Sawyer Mini Squeeze water filter. Always good to have. You can always, you know, if there's a water source around you, you can pretty much filter any water and make it safe to drink. There's also a um, cheap bushcrafting knife in here and a, uh, a trash bag for to use as a pack cover or just to wrap some gear in it if I need extra waterproofing. On this side, I have a uh, Sea to Summit bug hood. Um, always good to have a bug hood. Now, I, I wear a wide-brimmed hat, and the reason I wear these hats is that the bugs don't seem to like to fly underneath the hat, um, so it does keep them on their face. And if you put the bug hood on, it keeps the bug hood completely away from your face. So 
a bug hood, always have one. Uh, this is a, a cheap poncho I found on Amazon. Um, it is pretty cheap, but it works. It's really big. It covers me and the pack. If I'm hiking and it's raining, I can just put it over me completely. Um, I can actually stretch this out and use this as a shelter too. It's like eight feet long. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really big and uh, you could definitely use this as a temporary shelter. The grommets on it and stuff aren't very quick. Uh, my recommendation would be to wrap a uh, rock in it, tie a loop around it and use that as, uh, as your support. Maybe I'll, I'll do a video on that sometime if uh, anybody's interested. So, main pack. My Marchway chair. Uh, again, I've talked about this chair a lot. Weighs two pounds. This is obviously a clone of the Heliox chair, which I think is one pound. Um, but this chair is a third of the cost of that chair. Uh, this, this chair is like 30 bucks and when you're out in the woods hiking and you want to sit down and operate ham radio for a long time, the, the chair definitely is a, a nice thing to have. Um, if you want to go lighter, you could get a little foam seat. Uh, Thermarest makes one they call the Z seat. It's literally a couple of ounces. Keeps you off the, the wet ground anyhow and gives you a little bit of cushion. But I found if you're out there for more than uh, you know a half hour or so that uh, it gets kind of old and sitting in a chair at my age anyhow is really nice. This is my throw line, uh, my throw line kit that I keep in the bag. This is a weaver kit, weaver bag, and weaver weight. Works great. This is there's 150 feet of line in here, and I can actually use almost all of this throwing it up over a tree. Um, so definitely something I use. Like I said, I'll either have this or I'll take the mast with me. Um, I usually don't take both. Uh, usually it's either I know I'm going to be near trees or I don't know I'm going to be near trees and I'll take that. But uh, this really isn't too bad. I could, I could take both if I needed to, but usually it's either one or the other. And usually it's this. We're in Pennsylvania. There's trees everywhere. This is my Elecraft KX2. I'll go over that in a minute. This is a, uh, a jet boil stove I can use to heat water for dehydrated meals. Uh, again, I had it, so I'm going to use it. There's definitely smaller stoves out there and better options, but uh, it's what I have. I'm going to use it. It's a little heavy, but it's, it's not that bad. So, jet boil. Uh, a little drawstring pouch with a bunch of paracord in it. First aid kit. My first aid kit has a lot of stuff in it. Uh, there's a space blanket, EpiPen, compression bandage, uh, tourniquet, some gloves. There's even some uh, Cellulox uh, gauze in here for quick clotting. A little bit of everything. I was an EMT for I don't know, eight and a half years. So uh, first aid is always a big thing for me. Uh, and it's always good to have. There's some Benadryl and some other stuff in here. And I have, uh, I'm allergic to bee stings. Always got to be careful. So, so now we're to my power, uh, power options. This is a 20 watt power film solar panel that I got from the 100 watts in a wire tune-up. I won their drawing, so I got the solar panel. It, this panel is uh, weighs one pound. Uh, I get about a, a watt, or not a watt, and a full amp out of it, a little more than an amp, and good sunlight. This is the cord for it that adapts at the power pools, so um, I can put the panel out in the sun and I can sit in the shade. I, I think it's about 16 feet long, so uh, it works good. This is my little uh, power pouch. Uh, so in here is a uh, USB adapter with two jacks on it so I can charge my GoPro camera and my cell phone if needed to if I'm out there for a long time. This is a PowerWorks 12 amp solar controller. Uh, it comes with MC4 connections on it but I put power pulls on it so I can use the panel. Um, works great, lightweight, uh, it's like $30. I think it costs $7 in shipping but still this is a MPPT solar controller. Works fantastic. So I also have a little power meter in there so I can see what I'm getting. 
USB-C cable, a power adapter for my Bayuano battery so I can use the charge port on the Bayuano battery, and a little Anderson power pole splitter. So that's all that's in my pack. There's also a uh, large contractor trash bag in here, uh, which could be used as a ground tarp shelter you could fill it full of leaves and make a bed out of it if you need to if needed to in an emergency but that's it uh food and water obviously go in uh i put different stuff in every time i go out always have uh, water with me um my anderson Ugh. i think i picked a spot with a bunch of ants but let's go my elecraft kx2 this is a pretty simple setup. My KX2 microphone, a 3 amp hour BioNO battery. Love BioNO batteries. Shout out to them. The power cord adapter for the KX2. The barrel connection on this is actually the same barrel connector that's used on the BioNO battery. So I have two in case. I break one or lose one or something like that. So that always works out that I keep two of those with me. 25 feet of RG174 with B, B and C connectors. Yeah, the RG174 is, uh, has a little bit of loss to it. At 25 feet, it's really not that bad. And uh, it's so lightweight. It just makes it so easy to carry um, instead of carrying something like 8X or something like that. There's also... And this little pouch, a little cord with an alligator clip on it for grounding the radio if I can. Two 25 foot pieces of soda beams wire. This is to use it as a random wire antenna, one element the radiator, one the uh, counterpoise. B and C connector to use with that wire connected directly to the Elecraft radio without coax. And some various B and C and uh, coax adapters but uh, that's it that's what i carry that's what i carry on all my adventures so far uh, this will change as i upgrade gear or use different things i have a uh, small down sleeping bag tent and a tarp that i could use as shelter also that i will throw in the bag depending on where i'm going and what i need it adds a little bit of weight everything you see here except for the mast uh, stuffed in the pack comes out to about 20 pounds, which really isn't that bad. The mast is about three pounds. And um, if I load my sleeping bag and blanket in, or sleeping bag and tent in there, it gets me up to about 25 to 26 pounds uh, plus water and food, which always adds, you know, some weight depending on how, how much food and water you're taking. But that's it. I uh, hope you found this useful. <laughs> There's my dog. And uh, if you like this and want to see more gear dumps, uh, let me know. But uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the content so far. Thanks a lot. Tango Oscar Mike, 73, take care. You ready? Ready? Oh boy. Oh boy. Tango Oscar Mike.